Hey guys, it's Emma here. Thank you so much for joining my YouTube class today. Uh, this is my first class recorded with my new camera. Um, I used to record all of my classes on this professional camera. Um, if you look at like my really old first videos when I was traveling and doing stuff all over uh, the world, that was all done on a professional camera. And then um, the past year and a half I've been filming on my phone, which has honestly worked great because I use this amazing external mic. Um, so the audio quality is hopefully very, very consistent. Um, but I have now upgraded to my own um, professional camera so that the video quality is gonna be just as good. Now, I know you're probably not looking at your screen the entire time, but still, it's important to have nice things um, as I grow my channel. So thank you so much for being here and for practicing yoga with me. Uh, that's enough chit chat. I don't usually even like to say anything because I know you guys are really just here to do some yoga. So let's go ahead and do just that. We're gonna start this class in a standing forward fold near the front of your mat. Now, depending what time of day it is or how open you feel, you might need more or less of a bend in your knees. Either way, put a little bit of a bend in your knees. So you can kind of rest your rib cage on your thighs. Even if it turns out looking more like a squat than a fold, that's okay. I just want you to feel a little release on your back. So the lumbar, lower, thoracic, middle, and cervical, upper spine, all kind of heavy decompressing. Take a few deep sighs here in, out your mouth. Let any stress, tension, thoughts, things on your mind fade away. Take one more. And then start to seal your lips. Breathe through your nose. Slow, controlled, like you're breathing through a straw. Flip flop your arms so the opposite arm is on top and then start to add some movement. Sway a bit side to side. You might draw some figure eights with your elbows. You can really exaggerate here. Bend one knee a lot as you kind of move to the sides. Get your whole upper body and lower body involved. Think a little bit less about how it looks. Try to tap in here to the feeling of the poses. Where do you feel this? You feel the pressure of the earth under your feet, giving you support. Release your arms. On your inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, grab a hold of your ankles. Again, halfway lift. Fold forward. One more time, halfway lift. Fold. Press into your feet, rise, reach all the way up to stand. Bring your hands through heart center, interlace your fingers and push your palms down. Scoop your arms up. A lot of times here, we tend to flare the ribs out and arch the back, so try to minimize that. Feel your thigh bones almost push back, shin bones forward, knit your ribs in, inhale. Exhale, lean over to the right. Imagine trying to split your hands apart, bump your hips a little to the left. Inhale, back up and exhale over to the left. Push your hips a little bit to the right. Deep breath into the right side. Come back up through center. Clasp your hands behind your back. Inhale, think knuckles to the floor. Lift your chin, gaze up. Once again, bend your knees a lot as you fold forward. Think about your hands reaching up and away from you. Shake your head no. And yes, release your hands to the floor, lift up halfway, plant your hands, step back with your right foot, then your left foot to plank pose. Make more space between your shoulder blades. Almost imagine dragging your hands back and pulling your hip points forward. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Shift your weight forward and drop your knees. Untuck your toes, lower your chest and chin to the floor. 
and then kind of slide your feet, your legs back so you're entirely flat on the mat. Roll your shoulders out a few times. And then on your next inhale, roll your shoulders back, push into your hands, cobra pose. Lower yourself right back down with your exhale. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Wait until you find the top and bottom of your breath. Keep going, three more. So no rush to get through these movements quickly. The goal is to move with your breath. Last one. Come back down onto your belly, spike your toes to the mat, squeeze your legs so feel your kneecaps and maybe even your thighs lift up off the ground. Imagine your palms pushing through the floor. Can you pull your belly button up and in, push down a lot and come up to plank pose. Immediately bend your knees, push your stomach to your thighs, lift your outer hips, bear pose. Wrap your outer armpits, your outer shoulders around Lift your outer hips. Keep your heels off the ground, straighten your legs. Hug your ankle bones in a bit. Roll yourself forward to plank. Bend your knees, push back bear pose. Straighten your legs, roll forward to plank. Bend your knees, bear pose. Straight legs to plank. Bend your knees, bear pose, hold. Straighten just your right leg, sink your heel to the floor. Switch. And then pedal out your legs for five, four, three, two, one. Sink your heels to the floor. It's okay if they don't touch. They're just going in that direction. Take the rounding out of your back. So if you need to, bend your knees, focus more on the hips, lifting up. Lift your heels, take as many little baby steps as you can all the way up to the front of your mat. When you get there, your feet are about the width of your hips. Lift up halfway, inhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise, stretch your arms all the way up. Bring your hands through heart center, interlace opposite, push your palms down. Scoop your arms up and lean to your right. Get light in your toes, firm your thighs, like the quadriceps are hugging onto the thigh bones. Inhale up and exhale to your left. Inhale up, this time cactus bend your arms, push your hips forward, look up. Reach your arms up, palms touch, fold forward. Lift up halfway, extend. Plant your hands, step back now with your left foot and your right foot. Again, shift your weight forward and drop your knees. This time, keep your toes tucked as you lower chest and chin to the floor. Now, like you're pulling yourself forward, hips down, tops of the feet down, shoulders back, cobra. Tuck your toes, sink your butt towards your heels, like child's pose, then lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Wrap your outer armpits, your outer shoulders around so you feel less crunching or tightness up around your neck and upper back, like you're spreading your scapula apart. Lift your heels. Take as many little baby steps as you can, keeping your legs as straight as possible to the front of the mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Inhale, rise, reach up. Bring your hands through heart center, interlace, palms down. Inhale, scoop up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Cactus bend, lean back. Reach up, inhale. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Hands down, step or jump back. Shift your weight forward. Knees up or down, lower halfway or all the way. 
push your toes back and pull yourself forward. So you slide onto the tops of your feet into upward facing dog. Pull your feet forward, roll over your toes, downward facing dog. You can always take any variation of chaturanga. You can always skip chaturanga, skip the vinyasas. Do your best to slow down your breath. Heels up, look forward, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, forward fold. Rise, reach up. Last time, hands through heart, palms down. Inhale up to the right. Center, left, center, cactus back bend, reach up, fold forward, halfway lift, hands down, step or jump back, chaturanga, slide to the tops of the feet, up dog. Roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Hide your heels behind your ankles. Your heels do not have to touch the floor. Your legs do not have to be straight. You're just working towards that. Focus less on the destination, more about the sensations you feel in your body. Lift your right leg up behind you. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Kind of kick your heel to your butt a few times. Either hold there or circle out your hip. Square off your hips, flex your right foot, push your left thigh bone back and drop your outer right hip. Look forward, step right foot to right thumb and rise warrior one. Bring your hands to your heart center. Keep your lower body as it is. Interlace your hands and push your palms forward. Hinge forward a little bit, but stay heavy in that back heel. Push into your right foot, straighten your right leg and pivot to the left. Arms reach overhead and then out wide as you pivot to the back of the mat into warrior two. Sink your right hip a little bit. Gaze over your left fingers. Straighten your left leg, reverse triangle, reach up. Windmill your hands to the back of your mat, frame your left foot. Send your left leg up behind you into three leg downward dog. Crunch your left knee over to your right elbow. Do your best to make contact. Left leg going up, inhale. Step your left foot up to your left thumb. Bump your right foot to the right before you come up to high lunge crescent warrior. Little bend in the back knee is great. Hip points lift, inhale. Arms back, exhale. Lift your left rib cage away from your thigh. Now I really want you to use your left glute, left hamstring. Keep your left leg bent as you slide your right foot to meet your left foot, hip width, chair pose. Push your feet through the ground and imagine splitting your mat in half sideways. Feel your inner thighs turn on, inhale. Exhale, fold, option to grab your ankles. Put your fingertips out in front of you. Lift your left leg up, standing L. Push your right thigh bone back, almost a little twist to the right. Take a long step back with your left foot. Spin your heel flat, warrior two. Keep your lower body sturdy. One breath, reverse, warrior. Windmill your hands to the floor. Step back, chaturanga, facing the back of your mat. Inhale, up dog, spread your collarbones. Exhale, down dog, meet there. Lift your left leg up, bend your knee, stack your hips, and then you might bend and straighten at the knee joint. Option to circle out your left hip. Square your hips, inhale. So the squaring the hips is more than just flexing the foot. The right hip almost has to lift and go back to, while the left hip drops. Step your left foot to your left thumb, warrior one. 
Bring your hands to heart center, interlace and push your palms forward. Kind of hinge forward, but keep some weight in your back foot. Drive into your left heel, rise, pivot all the way around to the front, warrior two. Sink your left hip, reverse triangle. Hands to the front of your mat, right leg going up, three leg down dog, inhale breath, crunch to your left elbow, exhale. Right leg up, step to your right thumb, crescent lunge, reach up. Your back heel off the mat, inhale, sweep your arms back, hinge forward. Feel your right hip crease, pull back. Use your right hamstring and glute as you drag your left foot to meet your right foot. Chair pose with your feet hip width. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Hands out in front of you, right leg lift, standing L. Little twist of the torso to the left. Long step back, warrior two. One breath, reverse. Hands to the mat, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva, upward. Exhale, adho, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale out of your nose. No need to force ujjayi breath if it's not working out. Even inhales and exhales is great. Lift your right leg up. Step to your right thumb. Warrior one. Hands, heart. Palms forward on the exhale. Inhale, rise. Pivot to the back. Warrior two. Reverse triangle. Windmill your hands to the back. Send your left leg up and back. Inhale. Crunch over to the right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, step forward. Crescent lunge, reach up. Sweep your arms back. Chair pose, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Left leg lift behind you, standing L. Long step back, warrior two. Reverse, warrior Windmill hands to the back of your mat, chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Left leg, inhale. Step forward. Warrior one. Hands, heart, palms forward on the exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale to the front, warrior two. Reverse triangle. Hands to the front of your mat, right leg up, crunch to your left elbow, right leg up, step to your right thumb, crescent lunge, reach up, hinge and sweep your arms back, chair pose, forward fold. Standing L, right leg lift. Long step back, warrior two. Reverse. Hands to the mat, chaturanga. Inhale upwards. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, right leg. Warrior one. Hands, heart, palms forward. Rise to the back, warrior two. Reverse triangle. Hands to the mat, three leg down dog. Left knee, right elbow. Left leg up, step. Crescent lunge. Arms back. Chair pose. 
fold forward. Left leg lift, standing L, warrior two. Reverse, chaturanga. Left leg, warrior one. Hands, heart, palms forward. Rise to the front, warrior two. Reverse triangle. Hands to the front, three leg down dog. To the left elbow. Bring it up. Step, right thumb, crescent lunge. Arms back, chair pose, fold forward, right leg lift, standing L, long step back, warrior two, reverse, chaturanga. Downward facing dog, walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Hip width, grab your big toes, inhale lengthen, exhale fold. So use this as a moment, come back to your breath. Focus on the exhales, roll some weight to the big toes, you get lighter in the other toes. Squeeze your quadriceps, especially where they meet your hips. Wrap your outer armpits, outer shoulders around for three, two, one. Keep your right hand where it is. Bring your left hand to your waist. A little bend in the knees as you rise and reach your right leg out in front of you. You can bend the knee and grab the knee instead. But if you've got the big toe, make sure you're plugging your right upper arm bone back as if you were standing up against a wall behind you and your shoulders are square. Take an inhale, exhale. Release grip on the right foot or knee, straighten your leg and reach your arms up for five. Pointer flex as long as it's active. Four, three, two, one. Standing splits, dive your hands to the floor, right leg going up behind you. Keep your right leg up as you walk your hands forward and crunch your right knee to your left elbow. Kick your right leg out, fall in triangle, spin your back foot flat. Think more space between the mat and your inner left thigh. Plug your right shoulder back. Extend your top arm over the front of your mat with your palm down or pinky down for three, two, one. Right hand down, crunch your right knee to your nose. Step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee and reach your arms up. Take a twist to the right. Left hand on your knee, right arm reaching behind you. Push your left toenails and shin bone through the mat. Bring your right hand to your left hamstring, reach your left arm up. Nice big inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, hands on the mat, half splits. Flex your right toes, maybe even grab your toes. Plug your right femur bone back. Little bend in the knee is great. Focus less on making it look perfect, more on the sensation and squaring your chest, squaring yourself over your right leg. Rebend your right knee. Shorten your stance, pyramid pose. Plug your right hip back once again. Lengthen the sides of your body. Great time for blocks or fingertips. Left hand on the mat or a block. Right hand to your waist, pull your right hip back. Maybe reach your right arm up, revolving triangle. Keep the length in the sides of your body. Shift some weight into your left leg. Try to keep your spine long, tailbone going back, crown of the head going forward for three, Two, 
One, look down, step your left foot behind your right foot, crisscross your ankles. You might wiggle your feet more towards the center of your mat, keep your pinky toes touching. Inhale, rise, reach your arms up, lift your right knee up and into your chest. Flex your foot and then level your hips. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Grab your right knee, reach your right arm back. Keep a hold of the knee, but straighten your leg. Flex your foot, and then see if you can release your left hand. Wide arms twisting to the right for three. Two. One, take a long step back, warrior two. And shift it all the way to the back, Skandasana, flying monkey. Deep bend right knee, hard flex of your left toes. Try to get your right heel on the ground. You can always lift your hips up, no shame in that. Wider stance may be helpful. Pivot around towards the back of your mat. Left hand on the mat, roll to the outside of your left foot. Step back, side plank, or maybe step your right foot behind you. Wild thing for five, four, three, two, one. Right hand down, slide your right knee up behind your wrist, pigeon pose, or any other variation. Stay upright or come down. Relax your jaw, breathe deeply. One more breath. Walk your hands back towards you, tuck your back toes. Kind of keep this pigeon shape as you cross right ankle over left thigh into down dog figure four. Walk your hands all the way back towards your left foot and grab a standing figure four, right ankle over left thigh. Hands heart center is great. Now take your right hand, grab your right heel. We often do big toe pose, so grabbing your big toe. This is a little bit different. I actually find this one easier. Left hand to your waist. As you stand up, bring your right knee with you. You can stay here. You can always choose to grab the knee instead or ballet pose, kick your right toes behind you, grabbing your heel. Kind of scooping your right glute underneath, reach your left arm out to the left. You may or may not lean back a little bit and try to shift your gaze upwards. So if there's a wall in front of you, I try to look towards where the wall meets the ceiling. Three, two, and one. Rebend your right knee. Bring your right foot down to the floor. Hands to your waist, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Slide your hands underneath your feet or grab your ankles from the front. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold, rolling your weight forward, spreading your shoulder blades for five. Feel your kneecaps almost lifting up for three, two, one, release that. Bring your left piece, same fingers to your big toe, right hand to your hip. Little bend in the knees as you rise up towards standing. If your knee is bent, that's totally fine. Just grab your knee instead. I want you to make sure you plug your left shoulder back. Push the ball of your right foot through the floor. Release grip, reach your arms up, straighten your leg if it's not already for five. Tone your belly, four. Shoulders forward, three, two, Nice and slow, controlled dive, standing splits. Walk your hands all the way forward, like you're in three leg down dog. Then crunch your left knee to your right elbow. Kick your left leg off the mat into fallen triangle. Spin your back foot flat, press the outer edge of your right foot down. And then plug your left shoulder back, extend, reach, right arm, three, two, one, right hand down, left knee to your nose. Take a soft step forward and drop your back knee. 
Reach both arms up, Anjaneyasana. And take a twist to the left, wide arms. And push your right shin, top of your right foot down. Your left hand, find the back of your right leg or your tailbone. Reach your right arm up. Soften your right shoulder back down. Take a big inhale. Exhale, half splits. Ardha Hanuman. Flex your left toes like you're folding over your left leg. Focus less on making it look perfect or straightening your leg completely. More on the fold sensation. Three. Two. And one. Runner's lunge. Shorten up your stance. Pyramid pose. I like the feet about, um, not maybe, maybe not hip width, but on railroad tracks, not heel to heel alignment, although I know that is correct sometimes. And for some people that might feel better. So just kind of listen to your body, play around with the foot placement. You're working to straighten out your left leg and square your hips for three. Take the rounding out of your back too. And one, right hand, matter block, left hand to your waist. Turn your chest to the left and then reach your left arm up. A lot of times when we get here, the hips like to swing over to the left. So keep pulling left hip back and bumping it over to the right. Tailbone back, kind of the head forward. If it's all right on your neck, look up, Parivrita, Trikonasana for three. Two. One, left hand down. Look forward, step right foot behind left foot, crisscross at your ankles. You may wiggle your feet more towards the center of your mat, but keep your ankles crossed. Inhale, rise, reach both arms up overhead. And then lift your left knee up in front of you. Flex your foot, level your hips. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist to the left. Take your right hand to your left knee. Stand up tall and sink your left hip crease down. See if you can keep the grip outside your knee, but extend your leg straight. Flex your foot, feel really strong, tone your belly. And then keep the leg straight, but release the grip. Wide arms for three. Two. One, take a long step back to warrior two, and then immediately sink into skandasana at the front of your mat. Feel free to widen your stance. I like the left toes angled out a little bit. Try to get your left heel on the floor, even if you have to lift your hips up a little bit. Flex your right toes and get external rotation through your right thigh bone. Three. Two. And one, flip around towards the front of your mat, runner's lunge. Keep your right hand on the mat, roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Side plank on the right. Vashisthasana, or take your left leg behind you for wild thing. Keep your right shoulder stacked over your wrist. Firm down the outer edge of your right foot. Breathe here for three. Two. And one, slowly flip that around. Slide your left knee up behind your left wrist into pigeon pose on the left side. You may need to wiggle your right foot back a tad. Drop down to forearms, palms, or use a block. Notice if your breath feels stuck or shallow. Take one more deep breath. And then start to walk your hands back towards you. Tuck your back toes. Think about keeping this shape as you cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Figure four, down dog. Walk your hands all the way back towards your right foot until you can find balancing figure four. Flex your left toes, push your shin bone back. Choose one spot, focus your gaze there. Three. 
and bring your right hand to your right hip, your left hand either to your knee or to your heel. We're going ballet pose. So as you stand up, the knee is great. Take it out to the left. If you've got the heel, you're trying to kick your left leg up and flex the foot so the toes are going back. The heel is almost kicking forward. Scoop your left glute underneath you and then reach your right arm out to the right. See if you can start to shift your gaze towards a little bit up. So where the wall and the ceiling meet, if you're in a building, Look up a tad, maybe start to lean back for three. Keep flexing your foot, two. And one, start to bend your left knee, lower your left foot down, reach your arms up. Fold forward. Walk your hands all the way out, plank pose, and lower down onto your belly. I've been a fan of doing our back bends on our bellies the last few weeks, so we're gonna continue with that. Make a bind behind your back, press your toenails into the floor, inhale, lift chest, reach knuckles towards your heels. Pull your chin to your throat and crawl your ribs forward. Bring your feet together, so big toes and heels. Lift your feet up. Focus on the length and trying to get your thighs more off the mat. Feel your pubic bone press down, roll some weight a little forward as you lift your thighs for three. Two, one, really stack your palms, bend your knees, and then windshield wiper your knees side to side. Extend your legs behind you. Either make a bind opposite grip or reach back and grab the outside edges of your feet. If you've got your feet, squeeze an imaginary block between your knees. Kick back, try to lift your thighs up off the mat. Now, if you're in Dhanurasana, I like the gaze forward. You can go gaze up if that feels all right. Point or flex your feet, just make sure it's active. Feel your inner thighs like magnets. Find your breath. Last one. And release. Lower yourself down to the floor, push your hands into the floor and roll up Cobra Pose. Right back to child's pose, neutral spine. Take a breath in and exhale. Come forward to tabletop and either move your feet to one side or however you'd like to get onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest and we'll take happy baby pose. Bring your knees to your armpits, grab your feet or ankles. Pull your tailbone back down to the floor Straighten your right leg if possible, kind of like Skandasana or Flying Monkey on your back. And then switch left leg straight. If you have the flexibility, straighten both legs. And release that. Bring your knees together, take your arms wide, drop your knees over to the left and look to your right. Let your shoulder blades feel heavy, soft. And relax the muscles in your legs. Bones heavy. And then drop your knees over to the right, gaze left. Turn your knees through center. Give yourself a nice big squeeze. Extend your legs long. Allow your toes to flop out. Make any other adjustments you need to feel more comfortable in your space. Soften your palms, forearms, your biceps and triceps. Soften the muscles in the bottoms of your feet, between your toes. The muscles around your ankles.
Give yourself the gift of stillness for a few moments, nothing to do or accomplish. Enjoy the presence and the peace, Shavasana. If you have time to stay and relax, I'd encourage you to do so. Otherwise, when you're ready, take a nice big stretch, extend your body, hug your knees in and roll to the right or left side. With the eyes closed, you can make your way up to a seated position. Keep your attention inwards within the boundaries of your mat. Oftentimes we're looking outwards for distraction, stimulation, approval, the peace and stillness that comes from looking within. So when you're on your yoga mat, you're really focused on maybe on the poses, maybe on the breath. We use those as tools to access that presence and peace. It's always there, but it's harder to find when we're looking externally for peace and happiness. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Namaste. Thank you guys for practicing with me. And if you thought you went crazy, you didn't. I did film the last little bit of class actually on a, at a different time. I have upgraded to this new amazing camera, which the quality is so much better. I'm so excited, but I am learning a lot about it. And one of the things that I've learned is that there is a 30 minute record limit. Um, so I'd recorded the whole class, I had gone home, and then I was like, set up to edit it and I realized I was missing the last portion. So yes, I'm wearing a different outfit. It's a different time of day. Uh, maybe you were really engulfed in your practice and you didn't even notice it, but I will be sure that that does not happen again. Uh, I'm learning new things every day with this. Uh, you know, I just teach yoga. I don't know a lot about technology, but I'm trying. Thank you guys for being part of my channel and for subscribing or being a member, whatever it is. If you liked this, give it a thumbs up and I will see you back next week.